Hello everybody! Right now we're doing a new let's play. Sonic Hits our CD. A game that took a game that has little print. So let's we'll start the game now. Now I got I'm not really well, let me tell you guys this. If you want me to let let's plays, you gotta uh, have some like that. Okay, anyways. Sonic CD, a game that was released um, back in, on the Sega CD in 1993, right after Sonic 2. Now, all I remember was that he said, hey, don't waste me. Okay, anyways, um, Sonic CD took place after the original trilogy, Sonic 2, Sonic 1, 2, and 3. Now, I, I forgot to do a a KC showcase that stands for KJ's channel showcase. I really need to change my name on that on um, my channel to use name. But yeah, the reason why I'm doing this let's play because I'm I'm not I'm I'm not gonna do a Sonic 2, a Sonic 3 Knuckles let's play. One thing that with Sonic 2, I wanna I wanna make continuous since that was a larger, larger game than Sonic 1 and doing a cheat code for level select it's gonna take me a long time to do that, so it ain't right off the bat. I remember it. Sonic 3. I mean, with Sonic 3, I can't really do a let's play about that game because I want. You know, I don't know which game. Crash of Sonic game is my favorite. Sonic CD or Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But Sonic 3 and Knuckles is kind of right there. But the thing is, the games are separate. But the game out. Wait, Sonic 1. You guys know I was playing on Mega Collection. Sonic 3 Knuckles ain't unlocked, wasn't there from the start. I had to unlock it, and, but I had to unlock it. So, we gotta go with Sonic CD. And why not? So, yeah. Right now we're doing the. Oh, I'm playing the um, Kristen Whitehead version, which has Sonic and Tails. Well, you gotta unlock Tails after you beat. The f Wait, the first time playing it, you gotta beat the game. So, we're gonna play with Sonic. Now I will talk over this cutscene. Um, one well thing is, there's no dialogue. It just it just tell you. It's kind of like action tells you more than words. I never realized that sound. Um. Okay, so this, now I chose a Japanese soundtrack. The Japanese soundtrack is awesome. The U.S. soundtrack is good. I understand the Japanese soundtrack. It just goes over it. Just triumphs it by like twenty percent. Okay, but I gotta admit, I like Tutu Sonic Warrior, or it's US name. You can do anything. But I like Sonic Boom. Not that game. The show I like. The show I like the show. Not that game I reviewed, I reviewed last year, no. Not that game. But the song, I love the song. I love Crush 40 version. But also, so Sonic CD is the first Sonic game to have animated cutscenes. Granted, there's only two of them. Um. Yeah, this is probably the only Sonic game, besides some arcade game, spin off games, where Sonic in classic form is in the anime intro, so. Now, does this look familiar? Well, yes, this was like a Green Hill ripoff. But it's a second ripoff because, uh, because Emerald Hill Zone did that first, but at least it, it got its own thing. Palm Tree Planet Zone. Palm Tree Planet, it's. It's. Look, let me get these words. It's really crazy, in my opinion. That's why it's called Palm Tree Planet. Now, this is. The, the, Sonic CD's main gimmick is going back to the past, to present, and future. The first Sonic game to do time traveling white. Now, now am I gonna get a good future? I, I try to. I like Sonic One when I don't want to get all the chaos emeralds. 
and I had to force you to look online and see them. I am. Um, Wait, what was I saying? Oh, sorry. Now, some of you may be wondering where does game take place, KJ? Or, nobody will ever ask me. People will probably watch my videos. Um, Sonic City takes place after the Sonic 3. Now, some people will be like, no, it doesn't. Uh huh, don't abuse him. He was just kicking. That was Metal Sonic. Anyways. Some people may be asking, how the heck does this take place after Sonic 3 if Sonic 3 hasn't been released yet? Good point, but it, it does. See, th see, Sonic, the original Sonic trilogy were called the Death Egg Saga. It made sense because it made sense since Sonic 2 and 3 had the Death Egg. You can say Sonic 1 was kind of like, Scrap Blade Zone was kind of like a just fill in for Death Egg right now. I don't know why there's animal stuff in there. Okay, anyways. Okay, anyways. Yeah, Sonic 1 was kind of like, Scrap Brain Zone was kind of like a fill-in for it, for the Death Egg. But, yeah, Sonic CD doesn't have the Death Egg. Another thing is that Tails ain't with him. Now these are the fans, well, it takes, these other fans might say, oh, it takes place before Sonic 2. And it might be why, right, yeah. And you might be why, right. yeah, I can see that, but... Not really. See, the thing is, is that if you take me before Sonic 2, this new guy, this, this new character, and a fan favorite called Metal Sonic. He's a blue ripoff of Sonic, made by Eggman. He's a met, he's a robot. Now, with him, if you compare him to Silver Sonic. Metal Sonic is stronger. Which he is, he's stronger than Silver Sonic. He was calling Mecha Sonic, but it's actually it is Silver Sonic, guys. Now, Mecha Sonic, now you don't, now, guys, Super Mario Bros. Z ain't canon. Me Mecha Sonic ain't like a stronger version of Metal Sonic, okay? But, anyways. But, Metal, Mecha Sonic was more of a improved version of Silver Sonic, but he ain't. That stronger. He ain't that strong. If you don't count Super Mario Bros. Z. Uh, now Metal Sonic is stronger because he stayed. He's because in the description, he's the best robot that Eggman ever came up with. Um. Me yes, you waste him at the end. Spoiler word. I don't think that's spoiler word since this game is is about um 22 years old. Wow. Okay. Anyways, it can't really be. Yes, granted, you, you waste Metal Sonic instead of what fighting him. But granted, Metal Sonic has some moves. You do find him in Sonic 4 Episode 2, which takes place after this game. Not immediately after. Yeah, actually it did. Sonic 4 Saga did. Sonic 5 takes place right after that. Um, I hate this. I hate this so much. I want to get a good future. I want to get a good future. But yeah, Metal Sonic is described as the best robot made by Eggman. So, how, why will Eggman will make his why why will Eggman make um a robot that was 
weaker than the previous one instead of improving on it. Dang it. Now, yeah, that's the main thing. Wow, it's been 10 minutes I've been recording this? Wow. Okay, anyways. Now, you gotta get. Now, thanks a lot. I didn't get that, um. Tiny stones. Tiny stones are basically emeralds, right? They're basically the chaos emeralds for this game. And there are seven of them. Now, see, I didn't get the tiny stone, tiny stones because. <laughs> Three hits. Wow, well, like, man. But yeah, Sonic CD take place before Sonic 4. But after Sonic 3. And that's what people be like, whoa. Why Sonic... Why Sonic um, sprites or Sonic 1? Well, you know, it was made by somebody else. Sonic 2 was made by the Sonic team of, of USA. Sonic, yeah, I'm going to end the video off right here. Sonic Team of USA made Sonic 2, and Sonic Team of Japan was with the original design, character designer, the original creator of Sonic, Sonic, uh, Naruto Oshima, I think that was it, Naruto Oshima, well, the, designed this game. This game was made from Japan. Sonic, well, Sonic 1 was made by Japan. Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 were made by were made in USA. There was originally going to be in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but when Sonic the actual but when the actual Sonic 2 came out, they decided, uh, just take it. It's kind of like you gotta get this game on your name, Sonic CD. Boom, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, but at the time they they used the Sonic One sprites. The, Sonic 2 and Sonic CD they weren't made at the same time, but Sonic CD was made for the CD, so you got a lot more hard, like, you got a lot more capabilities of, on the second CD, so they want to use that to his advantage. Um, so yeah, next time we will look at Collision Chaos Zone, so bye.